Hello tubers. Uh, what we have for you today is a very long overdue kit build uh, sent in by subscriber Stephen James, very very kindly. And he sent in many months ago a DSO138 oscilloscope DIY kit, which we are going to assemble. Also with it came a case. The bed board is pretty useless. Um, yeah, this looks like a Perspex case. Got some bolts, bits and pieces. Looks like sliders and switches. So that'll be further down the line once we've uh, once we've built the kit. Put that to one side. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got in here. Hope the audio is okay. I'm trying my radio mic again. I'm sure you'll let me know if it's not. It's uh, some discreet and indiscreet components. Okay. Yeah. A display and a scene. Um, Julian Illet, sorry, Eilert, um built one of these and he destroyed the display, or the display was destroyed, um, and he blamed it on static. So I'm going to put on my hated static wristband, which is grounded by the way, it's not a, one of these wireless joys. Mm, time for some tea. Right, let's do what us blokes hate doing, RTFM. Right. Oops, some instructions for use. And what looks like a schematic for it, which is quite nice. Okay. Uh, that's for later. Done with the case. Oh, we got here. Now this is the um, the Zero Three kit, which has the surface mount components already on there. Which, to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed with because I've got all the surface mount kit here to solder. But it saves me some work, so let's put that on the side. Right. RTFM. Step one assembly. Resistors. Okay. Let's see what we have here. I've got the probes. Uh, soldering hints. Do I need to read the soldering hints? I've been doing this for well over 30 years. Uh, step one. Resistors. Always meter resistor values before soldering. Yeah, usually a good idea. Now, I can either use the component tester here or the uh, meter design shot. Sure. Just about, I've got the light up there. Can you see that? I think so. Um, so let's get three, let's get the probe off it and put some crop clips on. Mm. 
have a test of the resistors. You could just go by the resistor colour codes, but unfortunately these are blue ones and blue ones are very difficult to uh, to read. So we're just going to meter them out. Uh, R1, R14 and R18 are 100k. Okay. If I had some way of labeling these when 120 ohm, where does that go? 120 ohm is on it. So I've got this on it. Are you in any logical sequence? Let's bring this down because my old eyes don't work as well as they used to. And, uh, uh, this could take quite some time. Um, Look here, there is somewhere, surely. R5, R2, R4. I don't get terribly angry about getting all the resistors the same way up. It just seems a colossal waste of time. So all right. It's one twenty now. Let's go see what tip on the soldering on, shall we? There goes the phone. Um, that one's a bit big. Let's go for a slightly smaller one. Um, should we go for my favourite? No. no, let's go for. Go on, it's a special occasion, we're going to use a brand new one. Uses lead using a lead to solder because it's much easier to work with. <coughs> oh, I'll switch it on, I'll set it to 320. No, it's not calibrated at my soldering station, so <coughs> 320 works about the best I find. Indicated 320, not an actual 320. So, let's get some solder. Clean off the glue. Tin the lid. Get it well turned. And clean it off again.
Oh, it's quite a lot of ground plane on here. That's taking a lot of heat. I'm going to have to turn this up a bit. Let's go. A bit hotter. And have another slurp of tea. I think I need a bit of flux as well. This resistor's done. Uh, what's next? Pitch of chokes. Look, there's three of those. 100 micro Henry. Yeah. Just for a laugh. Let's see how close they are. is 80 microhenries. So, it's not particularly close, but... Uh, you can work what you've got, with what you've got. So, <coughs> this is microphone working. Yeah, good. Uh, so, uh, right, L1, L3, and L4. Right, L1. Nice and easy to hold. I'll do all these all at once. So it should stay pretty well. Right, but then. L3. And L4. L4. L4 is Okay. Good all that 
Let's settle that in. Let's be sold again. Chinese LEDs often are incorrectly marked with a polarity, so I'm going to check that this is actually correct. Is correct. Good. So D1 can go in and that away. The band on the cathode should always denote the uh, the band on the diode rather should always denote the cathode. If you don't know about these things, so polarized. Components. And also heat sensitive, so you've got to be reasonably quick. Crystal, where are you? Eight minutes, crystal. Hope you're in here because I don't think I've got night. Here we are. Yes, one one. Put it on. What do you reckon? 
<sighs> Might as well. USB soft. <laughs> it might be so optional they haven't actually supplied it. You know, if you can see it. It's where, sorry? Still in China. Uh, I'm not seeing a USB socket. Ah, there it is. J4. J4, well, you've got to be on the edge, haven't you? Da, 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 da. 